Hi everyone, so on this episode of Week Wednesday, we will be doing a full run through on MetaTrader. So MetaTrader is obviously the platform I trade on. So personally, I don't analyze a MetaTrader. I analyze on TradingView on the previous video. And then I obviously execute my trades to MetaTrader where you link your broker to MetaTrader. So MetaTrader isn't owned by the broker. You just use it to connect your account. Um, well, you connect your broker to the MetaTrader and then obviously from there you execute the trades on there. So let's do, do a full run through from how to add billboards, trades, break even, all those type of things. So once you have opened your account, this will be the first page you see. So here you just need to create a new password for your back office logins. After opening your account and changing your password, you need to decide what trading account do you want from USD to Euro to GBP. So just choose on the correct account that you want. Just click select. Then at the right bottom, click proceed. Then you have two ways going forward. You can click on deposit now or just click on the X button. Down here, you will see your wallet. So there is your trading account 3015106. On your email you will find your password as well if you do not find your password or you want to change your password just click on the three dots over here and then all you can do is just click change account password either type in the password that you need here you're going to type in your traders room password and here you can either type in your own password or click generate and then just say change password and then this will be emailed to you on your email that you have linked to this specific account And if you're ready to download the trader, just click on that button and select the device that you're using. So once you have your login, you're just going to type it in there and then your password, you're also going to type in there that has been sent to you. Then finally, the server is Rage Group and all you're going to do is just click OK. And then you can make sure that this is running. If this is running, then you know you are logged into your trading account. Okay. So once your meta trade is open, you'll have a few screens. You can just close all of them off. Unfortunately, now I'm already logged in. Then first thing you need to do is just click right here and say show all. So this will allow you to show all the currencies, the cryptos, the stocks, everything. Okay. So how to open a pay. So let's say we're looking at your USD because we currently have a running trade in your USD um, because of this video, obviously. So we're going to click right on that. Then we're going to say the word chart window. Okay, now it's gonna load. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna click right and I wanna take off my grid, okay? Mostly everything that you wanna change on, on your chart is just simple clicking right. Okay, then you can also see there's your previous trade level. So if you enter the trade, that will be your previous trade level. So you can also take that out if it bothers you oh, with trade levels, not trade history. So then you can also see you can take out your trade history so that is the previous trade you took if you want to take out your trade levels i don't know why you would want to do that but you can also take out that then let's quickly start with the bar here on top so over here we have all the different pairs but you don't need to use that as you have your whole market watch over here then not a lot of buttons you need to use there um i'll go trading we'll get into that later there's your different canals of oh, different uh, types of charts you have your line chart, your candlestick chart, and your bar chart over there. Um, I mostly obviously stick to the candlestick. They use them in and out if you have any problems with that as well. Yeah, you can have multiple windows. So if you if you do have multiple trades um, running, you can obviously have multiple windows over there. This pattern I usually put off because if you try and scroll back, it's just gonna keep pushing you forward. So it's quite frustrating. Then you have this button that just moves the chart. So you guys will see there's a blue arrow here that you can keep moving as well. It is just better. It's a better feel if your, your market is more towards the middle. Then you take a screenshot of your current trades. If you took a position, you can just save it. And that way you can obviously keep track of your trades. Then I don't personally analyze on, on MetaTrader, but here you do have all your technicals. So they will, for example, be your support and resistance lines. And then you have your trend lines over there. Okay, then you also have your channel. Okay, so you can add that channel in if that's something that you do use. OK, 
Okay, you just click on that white button. Then you also have your fib, okay, over there. And okay, then if you want to edit something, you just make sure it's clicked. Then you click right on it and you just say properties. So over here, you get your levels. So you can add a level. So let's say you want to add the 0.71% fib, for example. You can just add it there. You can change your colors over there. You can change your style. Um, pretty much anything that you want, you can obviously adjust over there as well. Okay, then if you want to add a zone, you can just go there. There is multiple other signs over there. And you can click on the plus button and there's some extra um, things that you can obviously add there. There is a buy button to indicate where you want to buy, etc. Then, okay, so obviously as time frames are really important, you can just click right and you can also add your time frames over there. You can use this to obviously just flip between the time frames. Now, as you guys will go through, you guys will see all the crypto stocks. Um, so once again, just open what you trade. What I mostly do is if I know one, I'm looking for a trade on BMW, then I'll go and look at BMW. I'll open the chart. I'll take the trade and obviously just minimize the, the position afterwards. Okay. Then finally, what we have is we need to click on W and we need to click on control C or you can just press control T as well. That's really the solution. So here you'll have your running trade, you'll have your balance, your equity, your margin, etc. So your balance is how much money do you have currently in your account? So at the moment, there's 17,220.16 USD in here. Then your equity is your balance plus minus your running trades. So at the moment we're running on $21. So it's going to be obviously two for one, then two, two, zero, two, four, two, adding your current running trades um, to the market as well. And your margin level will depend on your leverage. Um, the higher your leverage, obviously the more margin is of the less margin is required for specific position. Okay. So then once again, um, before entering your trade, you need to understand that there is spread. Obviously broker makes money on spreads. So you guys will see the first price is the bid price. Second price is the ask price. Bid price is the actual market price. Ask price is the broker price. We can see it's about a nine. Okay, it jumps quite quickly. Quickly nine plus four, so it's 13, 13 points or one point three pips is the current spread price, which you can also do is click right and then just say show ask line. So there we can see, obviously I'm on really, really small time frames, um, but you can guys can see it's really, really small spread. So what will happen is if you, for example, enter on a one lot size, okay? If the spread is 14 points, 1.4 pips, you're gonna start on minus $14. So if I sell now, for example, I'm already starting on minus $14, okay? So obviously the smaller the lot size, um, it will obviously be adjusted. So if you start on a one cent, for example, 0 0.01, then it's gonna be on minus 0 0.14 um, as well. So spread's always going to be there. Um, the significance about spread, once again, is if you have a, let's say you have a stop loss of 70, 70 points, okay, seven pips, then also you want to add your spread to the stop loss. So rather than having a stop loss of 70 points, then you'll just move it to like 85 or something in that range, just to calculate the spread in as well. Um, because spread is always going to be there, doesn't matter what white broker you trade with, and it is obviously, it will have a small effect on your trading if you don't calculate it in your trading. Okay, so let's see how do you actually enter the trade. So you guys, so I took a few test trades here. This is obviously just for explanation purposes. Um, it's not trades that I will take um, <laughs> at the moment. So first of all, you have a sell and a buy button. So a lot of people do say long and short in Forex. Um, I stick to sell and buy because on Metal Trade it says sell and buy as well. So sell means that you are betting on the market to go down. So let's say for example, you're selling USDZR, okay? That means there is your sell price. So from your sell price, everything to the downside is making you profit. So you can see if price is gonna go there, it's gonna be $7.19. So everything that goes above the sell price is obviously negative. So if price obviously goes there, it's minus $16. Okay. So that's the first in and out of it. Then once you enter the trade, you need to place what's called a stop loss and they take profit. What a stop loss does is it stops your losses. Okay. 
So there's two ways to actually place a stop loss. Number one, um, just like I did now, you can actually drag your stop loss from the green line, you just hold in and you drag your stop loss to limit your losses at a certain point. So what this means is, is if price pulls back to that area, it will automatically close your trade. It will stop your loss at $4.19. So same thing with the take profit, it takes your profit. So if you just drag out of the green line into the profit area, you can obviously drag the take profit. Secondly, what you can do, you can click on left on the pair itself. Then you have your volume. This is your current trade. You have your take profit, you have your stop loss. So you can go and type in the 0.89 and actually type in both ways. And then you can also close your trade there. You can sell again and you can buy. Again, see so if we click on close, that will automatically close your trade. Okay. Another way to close your trade is by simply clicking on the X that will also automatically close your trade. Okay. Now we have what's called orders. Okay. So what I did, if you actually click on the sell or buy button, Okay, that is what's called a market execution. But if you believe your price is going to be moving to this big area of support over here, from there, you know it's gonna buy. You're confident in your analysis, you know price will be buying from there. So what you can do is, there's two ways to do it once again. You can click on new order over there, which I'll go through now as well. Or you can click right. So firstly, choose your lot size. So let's say five cent. Then you click right on the red line and you can say buy limit. Okay, so what a buy limit means, it's, it means that as soon as price reaches there, it should automatically buy for you. Okay, but once again, we need to place our stop loss in this specific instance. Now we can't drag it because we're gonna move the order. So the only way to do it is by physically checking where should my stop loss be? So now let's see, I say, 18.605 okay then all i do is i click on that and i'm going to go to stop loss and i'm going to say 18.605 okay and then i'm going to say modify so now my stop loss is already in as well so if the price triggers that entry it will automatically put in my stop loss and you can do the exact same thing for for take profit so let's say you want to put your take profit on 19.14 then just say modify and there you have your take profit as well so that is obviously a buy limit sell limit is just the opposite you can also click there and you say pending order then it's going to ask you what pending order so you have a buy limit buying automatically from a level sell limit selling from a level buy stop means that if price breaks through this area and it comes back to that area it should automatically buy for you so basically saying that as soon as price breaks this high over there, it should automatically come back and buy from that level. And the sell stop saying that if price breaks through this level, it should come back and sell again from that specific price. So that is your orders. Okay, then finally, if you're in a trade. So let's quickly go to EURUSD. So EURUSD, we can see I haven't placed any stop losses or anything yet. Um, it is just a simple trade that I took to obviously expand this video. So let's say we're going to have, it's, it's obviously a really small time frame, one minute trade. So we're going to have quite some small stop losses. But now we can see we are in some profits. So if you're happy with the profits and you know, okay, well, price has reached a possible turning point. Okay. Now you don't obviously want to keep your risk. So what you can do is you drag your stop loss into negative and then you put it above your entry. Okay. Putting it above your entry means putting your stops to break even. So if price comes back to your entry now, it will automatically close out on 10 cents of the dollar, meaning you can't lose because you have secured your position within the market. So that is called putting your stops to break even. Okay, so the next one will be how to cut partial of your position. So let's say you're a sculptor, short term trader and you're happy with the current profits. But at the moment you have a 10 cent in, so 0 0.10. So you don't wanna close the full position, okay? You wanna only wanna close some of the position. What you can do is, let's say you, you click on the trade itself, you can either click there or you click on the trade here. Then all you do is you just change it to a 5 cent, for example, and then say close, 5 cent. This will then close half of your position 
So the eight will go to four. You have five cent open, five cent profits are obviously going back into your history. Then we will also see this is your trade history. So there we bought, there we closed. So that's also a way to track um, your orders where you went wrong, where you went right as well. Okay, so as, as the market closes every night at 11 or 12, depending on which time of the year it is, PM, um, you obviously have swaps or roll, at the rollover of the market. So every time you're in a trade, a certain trade will have more swaps or less swaps. So how do you check that? You click on right, or you click on symbols, then you click on the pair that you want to be trading. Let's say you want to trade your GBP. So over here, you'll find the contract size, the margin requirements, all those things that you actually need from a specific position. Okay, so if you go down, you're gonna see swap type in points. So it's not pips, it's points. So the swap for a long and a short on euro, GBP is six points, 0 0.6 pips. That means if you enter one lot size on your GBP and you leave it overnight, you're going to be paying $6 to leave a trade overnight. So two days, leave a trade for two days, $12, three days, $18. So it's not really high. Um, if you take it, you're trading a one lot size and you're only paying $6 for that specific trade. So if you want to check a different pay, just click on a different pay, your JPY. Some pays, it all depends on the trading volume. Um, the more the pay is traded, the lower the swaps. The less traded the pay is, the higher the swaps, um, obviously. Okay, so how do you add a EA um, on your MetaTrader 5? All you're going to do is just, just going to click on files, open data folder. Then you're going to choose MQL5. Then you're going to click on experts and you're going to click on advisors. And over there, you're just going to be pasting the, the program. So depending on where you got the EA, just paste it in here and it should be activated on your MetaTrader. So now I'll show you how to get it on your MetaTrader. MetaTrader. After paste, pasting it in your MQL5, all you want to do is just close this, close your MetaTrader. So once you reopen your MetaTrader, you should see your EA under your um, expert advisor. It should pop up here. And all you're going to do is just drag it onto your chart, allow, allow, and just say, okay. And it should pop up um, with all the parameters in place already. Okay, then finally, the last thing is how do you add the indicator? You just click on insert, you click on this objects, this indicators, pretty much anything. Click on indicator and there is your multiple indicators. There's your trend indicators, your escalators, your volumes, your bill, Williams, your custom. You can also create your own indicator like RSI, whatever it might be. So it's pretty simple. You just click on it, click on moving average. Then you're going to say, well, I want an eight moving average and you click on OK. And there you have your moving average in your better trader. All right, guys, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting. Then I will see you guys on the next episode, which will be tomorrow night, Thursday. Really good video coming out. So I hope to see you guys in that video.